What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at a mid-tech knife, one that was suggested to me by a contest winner recently. And this is the Warrior One Carbon Fiber Edition, uh, made by Riate Knives and designed by Leong Ma. This is a pretty interesting knife. Um, not really something I would probably normally get, but uh, I'm glad I did. So real quick, we'll go ahead and jump into the specs. We have about a 3.4 inch blade of CPM S35VN in an upswept blade shape. I really don't know how else to describe it. It's, uh, it's definitely unique. It almost looks like a tanto shape, but obviously there's no tanto tip there. Uh, it has a high flat grind. Not the most dramatic flat grind, so the edge, um, it's not super thin, but they do a decent job on the secondary bevel there. You can see it's fairly wide, um, so this keeps it usable. You can see Liang Ma's maker's mark there that I pointed out, and the steel designation on the other side. It's been given a nice stone wash. And it has a very long run of jimping on the back here. The jimping's decent. Uh, it's not super duper grippy, but it's definitely enough. So <clears throat> obviously it's a frame lock flipper. The handles are 4.3 inches long. So a pretty good blade to handle ratio. The show side is obviously this immaculate carbon fiber really really amazing job on the carbon fiber you can see the hardware it has an orange peel finish uh, yeah the carbon fiber is just no voids um, just completely perfect carbon fiber really comfortable uh, it's they've done a nice job of rounding everything contouring it all the hardware has that orange peel finish oversized that's not a void <laughs> that was me dropping the knife like an asshole um, yeah I dropped it on a tile floor so oh well um, yeah orange peel finish on all the hardware there's the uh, titanium lock side you can see it's got that same contouring um, very nice pocket clip I like shorter pocket clips like this and it carries fairly deep very little of the knife actually shows in your pocket uh, it's a 3d mill titanium clip with uh, kind of a nice pattern here milled out. It has a steel lock bar insert, uh, ceramic detent and uh, pivot hardware. Um, I did take this apart. I'm gonna see if I can show this to you guys. If you can see that little strip of blue between the uh, scale here and the blade, that's the giant washer for the uh, ball bearing pivot there. Um, the ball bearings themselves aren't all that big. They're fairly small for the size of knife that this is. But the giant washers that hold them are very wide. Um, I, I don't know what the purpose behind that is. I guess added stability for this oversized pivot um, but yeah I'm, I'm I'm not 100% sure on that you can see it has internal stop here the two pins there is no stop pin it just stops in that pocket in the back there uh, this isn't the first Riate knife to employ that and uh, I like it you know there's no stop pin or anything like that it's definitely an interesting way to do it uh, ergonomically very comfortable that's probably the knife's strongest suit um, just a very plain finger choil then kind of a coffin shape style handle uh, the jimping like I said is very good uh, the flipper tab has some jimping on it itself this thing flips really well it's not like a fall close type knife I mean it takes a little you got to really shake it to get it to close but it flips really well so 
That's what matters about a flipper. Um, it's almost a flow through design. It has this kind of half backspacer, which extends uh, past the butt of the handle just a little bit. And it has jimping on it. I'm gonna assume that's for the reverse grip. Yep. Uh, which makes it very comfortable in the reverse grip for anybody who ever needed to use this. I don't, I, I mean, I, I, get the, I get it. It's there for people who think that they're gonna use their knives for self-defense, but um, other than that, it's, it just looks cool, I guess. <laughs> um, but fairly simple construction, uh, you know, just a, a screw here and then the, uh, the pivot screw, and that's it. Uh, and you guys know me, I like simple. Makes it very easy to take apart and uh, reassemble. Fit and finish is very nice. The centering is perfect. You can see the grind there is very even. Like I said, the carbon fiber is flawless, or at least it was flawless until I dropped it. Um, same with the titanium side. This has been kind of blasted uh, finish. They even took the time to, like I said, orange peel the, the, um, the hardware. This is actually a sleeve. This giant piece is a sleeve, and you can see inside of that is the screw. So you can take the screw out, uh, and the sleeve just kind of falls away. Yeah, I mean, as far as good and bad, um, the good, it's I think it's a very attractive knife. Uh, it's extremely comfortable for bigger tasks. Like uh, I use this to break down some uh, some giant cardboard boxes I had laying around. Um, it's great for smaller stuff. Um, it's not the best slicer because of how thick the blade stock is. You can see right there how thick that blade stock is. It's almost as thick as the titanium uh, handle scale. Um, because of how thick the blade stock is and the fact that they went for a flat grind instead of something like a really deep hollow grind, um, it's not the greatest slicer. It doesn't come to the most acute edge. I mean, it's a good edge. It's a decent working edge and everything. Um, but it's not... Um, I wouldn't use it to, like, say, slice tomato or something like that. It would just wedge through the tomato. But um, if you've got bigger stuff, it, you know, if your daily tasks include stuff that uh, doesn't require a really fine slicing knife, then this is definitely something that can uh, work for you. Um, Size-wise, I usually don't go for a knife this big. Um, it's seven and three quarter inches overall, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not. It actually carries smaller uh, than it sounds, but I usually try and stick with blades three quarter, uh, three and a quarter inch and under. So this is just larger than I would usually carry, but not by much. Um, but that's really, I mean, that's preference. If you have much bigger hands than mine, I wear a large glove, but if you have much bigger hands than mine, then the extra space on the handle is definitely um, gonna be good for you. Weight wise, it's 3.7 ounces. That's uh, towards the top end of what I would carry, but it doesn't feel heavy. Uh, it's balanced really well. Uh, and with the carbon fiber, it just feels lighter than it, than it should be, I guess. Um, other than that, it's, I really like it. The flipping action is nice and snappy. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not a drop close type knife, but uh, it doesn't need to be. It's fun to, it's fun to flip and that's what matters. Um, yeah, nice and snappy. Well made, extremely well made. Riate does such a good job of putting these together um, and making all the you know the separate components for it. So extremely well made. Um, I, as far as design goes, that's probably where I would differ. I would prefer um, a knife that maybe isn't quite as thick and probably is a better slicer, but. Uh, like I said, if you have bigger tasks that require less of a slicer, then this I'm sure would work fine for you. Uh, or if you're if you actually do need to carry a self-defense tool, um, then I guess this that's what this is probably made for. All right, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up.
Uh, make sure you enter the giveaway that ends Friday, and there will be another, another one after that. Um, I have some more knives coming up for review, so stay tuned for those. All right, guys. Talk to you later.